Okay, so this will be the first of uh, three videos. Uh, try to keep them brief. The first one about monopsony. Monopsony is just about hiring in the labor market. And these are essentially bad situations for workers. It's when you have just one place to work. So this is coal mine, factory in the middle of nowhere, sweatshop, steel mills. You know, Walmart was used to be accused of being a monopsony. The Mr. Galloism, only place to work, okay? So you're kind of, it's uh, not a good situation for workers. And here's our graph as we go through it. Just remember as we go through these two main things that'll remind you the way things go. The wages are lower than they're supposed to be and there's fewer workers Okay, so less workers than there should be hires. Sometimes these places look like they're overcrowded, which they are. They should have a whole separate facility with more workers. There's abuses that take place, death, hazardous conditions, etc. So this would be what the equilibrium labor market would look like. But because this is the only place in town to work, it becomes disrupted. So the workers should be getting this $10 equilibrium wage and there should be a hundred employees hired. Okay. Typically when we had the, the regular labor market, remember we had this whole thing over here. Okay. With the, this is the labor market for the whole country. And then this would be the firm and the marginal factor cost is equal to the supply of labor. Well, that's not the case here. And as a result, the marginal factor cost goes up like this. I am going to briefly describe the reason why the marginal factor cost goes up. So with each worker that gets hired, okay, in the supply of labor curve, to attract workers, you need to increase the wage, okay, to get an additional number of workers. So, well, if you increase the wage of employee number 11, then employees one through 10 also want their wages increased. So you suppress the wages by keeping the number of workers down. And as a result, hiring for max profit, this is where MFC equals MRP. So let's say this is of 65 workers, okay? Well, the wage now comes down to here and we'll say that that's a $7 an hour wage, okay? Question for the uh, quiz, wage is always on the supply of labor curve, okay? So price, is always on the demand curve when we're talking about a product. Wage is always on the supply curve. This is a distractor number. So ignore this number here. There is some significance of that number and that that's what this worker is worth. This worker is worth $12, but they're only getting paid seven. And it's even a higher value for these workers as we come down the line, okay? So the wage goes down from $10 to $7 and the number of employees goes from 100 to 65. And this shows us graphically what a monopsony looks like, okay? It's an unfair situation, bad for the employees, uh, and a good situation in terms of profitability. It allows for abuse, uh, death. These are terrible circumstances and they're in the world of social justice, a monopsony is an awful situation, okay? So let's run through potential quiz questions. What would be the hiring for max profit? That'd be 65. What would be a fair wage? Okay, the $10 would be the fair wage. What would be the allocatively efficient? Uh, well, ignore allocatively efficient, but what would be the equilibrium uh, quantity for hiring would be a hundred. Okay.
remember there's lower wages and fewer workers hired. Wage is always on the supply curve. Uh, and some examples, you know, coal mines, steel mills, you know, we wouldn't think of, you know, a hot dog stand would not be a monopsony, right? And make sure you know the difference between a monopsony and a monopoly. Monopoly is when a firm has total control over the product market. They're the only one that produces the product. Monopsony, the only place in town to work. Okay.